All right, Wilson, you got good audio over yep. there? Yeah, we're All right. Good. You out there, can you hear me? You good? Mic check, mic check. Perfect. Welcome. Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Boom on my left, boom on my right, Richardson, because today we're going to be comparing two of the booms. Like, well, there's literally only one boom here, actually, right, Wilson? Really, yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe I need to come up with something else. Either way, let's just jump into it, man. We got. The brand new, well, it, I'm still call it brand new. The brand new Sony Alt Field 7. Nobody really expected this thing to hit the streets. Like Sony was riding on the XG500 for like two years and some change. And then all of a sudden they dropped like three new items. And one of them was this thing. And the other one was the Field Alt 1 or Alt Field 1. Both, like in my opinion, like psh, mm, great speakers, man. I love these speakers. Uh, like I said, nobody was expecting it. As far as retail price goes, $499. I'm sure you can catch it on sale by now. Sony's good for, you know, giving us good sales, especially summertime as the production of this video goes on. Uh, but the retail is $500. So that's a lot of, of saving your, your nickels and dimes and, and your monies, right? But then Soundcore, in Soundcore fashion, drops us a new speaker like every six months. And this time around, we got the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus. Now, everybody already knows that the Soundcore Boom 2 is an excellent speaker. It's a small one, it's super lightweight, it's waterproof and dustproof. Well, is it dustproof? I don't remember. I think it's it like IPX7. Ah, whatever, that's the other speaker. This one right here, we'll talk about this one. <laughs> this one right here, this one just came out like a month ago, I think, right? And it kind of shocked us all. There's been a lot of controversy around this thing too, man. So. Yeah, I ain't getting into that in this video, but seriously, I think it's a really great speaker. In fact, I will tell you on camera, Soundcore is actually one of my favorite speaker companies. And it's because they actually just make good stuff, man. You know, you can't deny good, right? Retail price for this thing, I think is, oh man, I'm gonna mess this up so bad. Was it 250, 249? 249. 249? 249. All right, we're gonna hold that on the record. <laughs> I think it's 249, but in Soundcore fashion, I'm pretty sure you can get this thing super cheap right now. I don't want to throw out no prices, but check the links in the description that I put on there for two reasons. One, so you get the latest price. Two, because I get paid like literally a million dollars every time you click on one of them links, your boy gets paid. That's how I'm able to live like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> a million dollars a click. Dude, do you understand like what it, my life would be like if I got a million dollars a click? Oh man. <laughs> dude if i got a dollar a click that'd be awesome i don't even get a dollar but click on the video because i gotta eat man anyways so look we're gonna compare these two man you can see they are very different in size man so soundcore is not even trying to they, they actually told me this personally they not even trying to compete with the boombox 3 from jbl nor are they trying to compete with the uh the alt field 7 from sony they're really just competing with themselves and possibly some other speakers, uh, you know, in the, the lower budget uh, tier um, uh, of speakers. But for all intents and purposes, let's just compare these, man. We got $500 versus 250, literally half the price, okay? So does that mean half the value, half the sound, or you get more for less? I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Over here, we got up to 30 hours of battery life. That is a lot of partying. You got to turn the lights off and you got to put it in like Alt 1 or something like that. But uh, 30 hours, that's a lot. That is a long time. I don't even know if I got that much song. Like I could stream for 30 hours, right? But I ain't got that much in my collection. Do I? I don't know. I can go back, man. I can go back to like 91. <laughs> Anyways, over here, we got up to 20 hours worth of battery life. And that's with the lights off because this does have lights as well as the Sony. They both have... Uh, a lighting scheme in places of the speakers that I really can appreciate. Now, typically when you talk about lights on a speaker, I, I hate them. I absolutely loathe lights on speakers unless they're done just like these two. I like the way Sony's glow just kind of happens out here in the, in the flanks right here. And I like the way Soundcore has done it here where it happens on the outside of the radiator because it gives off like a glow and that gives an ambiance versus having lights right here in the front and they just kind of blast at you. What do you prefer, Wilson? I prefer the same way with the, the glow. Uh, yeah, the glow on the side. Yeah, it's just, I don't want to call nobody tacky. 
<laughs> but I'm just saying, I don't like, you know, just neon lights and LED just, I, I don't like that. Anyways, so they got lights, right? What else they got? Uh, the app, because they have the lights, you gotta be able to control them, do your moods and stuff like that. So they're both app connected with tons of options inside of those apps, such as on the Soundcore side, you got an EQ with enough bands to tweak this thing to something you're gonna like, God dog it. And of course they have a few presets. It also has bass up technology, which is something that Soundcore is just, you know, that's their thing, bass up. And then on the, on the Sony side, you got your app, you got your EQ, I do believe it's five bands. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but five bands of EQ on a Sony speaker should be plenty to find something that you like, right? And then you you do have a couple of presets there and you got some other stuff that you can tweak up off in the app. But once you get everything set, you'll probably never go back into the app because now you got everything set to what you want and you just want to get your jam on. So you can get your jam on for up to 30 hours or 20 hours. But what if you are jamming like near the water, floating, float down river? I don't mess around floating on rivers. I don't like water I can't see in. <laughs> you, <laughs> you ever been floating? Yeah. Dude, I went floating one time. I was scared as hell, bro. <laughs> Even with the uh, tubes or dude, anything? On the tube, man, my feet just dangling, bro, in the water. I don't know what's in there, man. I don't like lakes. I don't. <laughs> hey, you don't like that I went skydiving. You don't like these rivers. <laughs> I'm a chicken, man. If I can't see in the water, I ain't going in there. I ain't sticking my feet in there and just flapping in the wind or in the water. You know, you got stuff. Dude, you ever thought about this? Now look, I know this is a speaker video, but we need to talk about this. Dude, you just imagine, you never thought about this. You just jump in the water because you're crazy. You're floating, right? You got your beer right here. You got your, your Soundcore Boom 2 or your Sony. Oh, it's just boom, 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 boom. You got your beer, right? And all of a sudden, you don't know this is happening underwater. But like some eel or alligator freaking Loch Ness monster just, just coasts by your legs and just grazes you like this. <laughs> I don't want to know what rivers you're going to, man. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, you got life down there happening. <laughs> I think that's a kind of a guarantee we're going through these things. I don't think. No, that's why you, if it's a guarantee, you don't mess around in there. All right, is, yeah. You don't belong in there. I'm telling you, stay out of there, Wilson. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, gators, snakes, these weird looking fish. Dude, have you seen them big ass catfish? The ones they be noodling? They stick their arm in the hole. Have you seen that? No. And they come out with these human-sized catfish? I That's you, in there. I think you traumatize yourself. To <laughs> be honest. Don't go in the water. But just in case you do got to go in that water, <laughs> you got a speaker that's going to make it. Bro, we got to talk about this noodling stuff. Look, after you get done with this video, look up noodling, okay? It's these dudes, this special kind of dudes, right? There's some women do it too. They stick their arm in a hole in like a lake or river. And they just go in there and kind of shift around a little bit and they come out, whole damn four of them in the, in the catfish mouth. <laughs> the catfish is like, oh, <laughs> you ain't seen this <laughs> Bro, you gotta do it. You gotta check it out. Check it out after you watch this video. But just in case you're in the water, right? You're gonna need some, some floatability and some durability. Right here, we got IP67. That means dustproof and waterproof. And it actually floats. No, 
You cannot listen to this while it's floating in the water because it floats face down and it is not designed for that. It is actually a safety feature to make sure you can retrieve your speaker once it falls into the water and it'll still be working. However, on the sound core side, you have IPX7, which means it's not exactly dust proof, okay? So watch it around dust, but you're definitely waterproof in there and it does float. So and uh, if it floats in a, or once it starts floating in the water, it actually floats face up and face down. But just because it floats face up, that does not mean it's designed to play that way. Because once you get water on top of the drivers, it just sounds like blah, 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 blah. it's a safety feature. So you can retrieve your speaker should it fall into the perils of that nasty, dirty Loch Ness monster wastewater called the river. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, man, that's the durability of these things compared to each other. All right, now we let's talk about some carryability because they're portable Bluetooth speakers, right? So the Sony does not come with a strap. I actually purchased this uh, third party. Let me take it off because I know a lot of you are gonna wanna wear, gonna, uh, wanna know where I got it from. I actually got it off Amazon. Click that link, bro. <laughs> I need them funds, man. <laughs> so this is actually a strap that straps on via Velcro and it's actually worked out really well. It's, man, it's just so, so good to have this thing, especially when you're carrying multiple items, like at a beach or a lake or something when you're going floating. Anyways, so this is your strap. It's just a regular shoulder strap and you hook it on. But third party, it actually comes like this with four places to grab. You got a grab handle here, 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 and here. And since I just did that, it is designed to be played upright in case you need a space saving type of uh, setting. So there's your carrying apparatus right there. And it's actually kind of heavy, man. It's about 15 pounds, like 14 point something pounds. Then you got the sound core, which is literally pinky liftable. It's putting a lot of stress on my pinky, but I do want to show you how light it is. And it actually comes with this traditional style handle and you have the, uh, the built-in strap. That does come off. I'm somewhat of a fan and somewhat not of a fan of how this strap actually works because I'm used to like, you know, carabiner hooks and, you know, it's just kind of a departure from that. This was actually quiet. So you don't get the whole, you know, clink, clink, clinkity clink with a regular traditional uh, strap. So that's just something to consider how you're going to be carrying your speaker because price or not, you know, if one's cheaper or not, sometimes it's how you carry it or how much durability it has or something like that. Like what's a big factor for you if you are going to choose between Two, two speakers like this. Is it strap carrying, looks, what is it? I think the handle, really. Yeah, the yeah. Handle. Mm -hmm. I like the handle of the sound core better. Personally. It's traditional, it's what we're used to as humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I prefer that, really. Yeah, this is traditional, this is tried and true. This is new, okay? So you, this is something you gotta get used to. I like it because I have literally grabbed this thing in all different kinds of ways, but you cannot pass up an opportunity to just grab a traditional handle. Now let's go around to the backside, because this could be a deal breaker for a lot of people too. So on the back side, if you can get in here, Wilson, and look at that speaker booty as I open it up. You got that? You focused in on that, sir? What do you see back there? It looks like a USB-C in or in, in and out because you can charge and sip off of this battery in here. But you also got a 3.5 millimeter input or is that an output? That's an input, right? That's an input. input. Yeah. <laughs> so you can listen to, and listen to your file on your phone or MP3 player if you want to. But that's it because this speaker is truly just designed to get your jam on. And that is it. Just launch the party and keep it going for up to uh, 20 hours. However, on the Sony side of things, this speaker is designed to do a hell of a lot more. That's why we got this big old speaker booty right here. Ugh. Open that thing up, man. We got, see, this is a killer right here for a lot of people. You have your regular, what is this, AC plug right here? Yep. And uh, yeah, it has 30 hours, but what if you do need to charge it on the go? You ain't gonna find these things laying around nowhere. But then you got uh, some things that make you wanna change your mind because it has all this other stuff. You got a light control right here, battery indicator right there, and all these right here, that's key controls. You got your echo, guitar amp, and microphone and stuff like that, and a 3.5, and of course, you can actually sip off of that battery. But I had to show you that because some people do want to do extra stuff with their speaker, like karaoke. So you can actually turn this into like a kind of a karaoke machine wherever you go, should you have a microphone or a guitar or something like that. You just don't have that opportunity here with Soundcore. And that's where that extra money is going, bro. You know, they have to, you know, they got to charge you for this stuff. It makes you wonder how much is something worth? Like how much is an extra feature worth? You know, you, you got to figure that out. And then we get into build quality. And this could end up being a long video. I'm pretty sure I took up a lot of time talking about catfish. 
but that was educational. <laughs> but seriously, we got build quality, right? Cause that goes into the price as well. I'm gonna tell you hands down, no questions asked, Sony is better built. It feels more solid. It's got different types of uh, build materials and it just feels like money. But the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus is no slouch because Soundcore has improved their build quality on things and it feels really good, but it's still pretty much a 100% plastic speaker. It has a metal grill here that's kind of coated, but it feels solid. Like I have actually dropped this thing before. It has a nick on it where I dropped it by the pool. And this thing, it's just, it's like tank plastic. I said that in the previous video. So the sound quality, or the sound quality, the, uh, the build quality on this is no slouch. However, the Sony speaker is definitely built. And I would hope so, or built better. And I would hope so because of the extra money on that price. As far as drivers go, what do we have in here? Dude, we got four drivers. Two big ones, two little ones. That means you got dynamic range slash bass and some tweak tweak. And here we got the exact same thing. Okay, we got two drivers, one, two, and then we got some tweet tweets. And then of course on both of them, we have the passive radios. So that takes me to sound quality. Now that's always gonna be subjective. How do you quantify $500 worth of sound versus $250 worth of sound? Especially considering that they're both they're almost the exact same drivers. Yeah, how do you quantify that? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's personal preference, yeah, right? Yeah, really, it has to so, be down to what you think. Personally, it is really hard for me to pick one. It's because it's scenario based. You know what I'm saying? I use this speaker for pretty much everything. <laughs> this one actually lives in my in my garage. And when I'm going around the house doing work and stuff, this thing is just beating up the block. You know what I'm saying? But on my last trip to the beach, I chose to take this one because it's super lightweight. It's smaller and it is able to drown out. It like it thumps enough to drown out the other people's music that was around me. So actually, uh, personally chose to take this one to the beach because of its form factor and performance and as far as sound quality goes oh man i honestly i cannot tell you you which one do you like ah oh, man they're both so good i can't choose okay yeah so, honestly i can't choose we're gonna let you pick are you okay with that you gonna be okay with that all right cool let's go wilson's watching noodling now he had to look it up let me see what this is he ain't happy Oh my god. With her leg or hand? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a big ass cat. <laughs> Wilson, I told you, man. I told you. Hey, it's slippery. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, where did he buy Dude. you? I try to tell Wilson about this noodling mess, man. It's real. Y'all gotta look it up on YouTube, man. <laughs>